Rotherham start this match as favourites, having beaten Dagenham in both League Two meetings this season. But the Daggers are the team in form. Six victories in their last seven. Rotherham with only four wins in their last 11. Both teams are unchanged. Peter Gain is fit after a calf problem. Top scorer Paul Benson has 21 goals this season. Josh Scott scored four in their 6-0 thrashing of Morecambe in the semi-final first leg. Adam Lafondra has 30 goals this season. He scored in both legs of Rotherham's semi-final win over Aldershot and in both league victories over Dagenham. Ryan Taylor again starts, having finished the season on loan at Exeter. Benson keeps it in. Good play from Paul Benson. Scott's in the middle waiting. Nurse. It's too long for Scott, and Green couldn't get there and couldn't keep his footing either. I'll tell you what, he made an absolutely great run across the face of Gavin Gunn. Not sure if Gunning saw him. You see the cross from Nurse, one touch and in. He gets right across the face of him. And if that's in and around him, he gets on the end of that. Unfortunately, it's just slightly overhit. And it was by Lynch. Now by Scott. A new pair of boots for uh, Josh Scott. Scott has actually requested a, a different pair of boots. And he'll go and uh, change his footwear just as soon as possible. Not at the moment, though, not while he has defensive responsibilities. Decent ball in and just a touch too long for Ryan Taylor. Oh, well, he just ran off the back of Scott Doe there. And if that ball is just a little bit less on it, he's in around the six-yard box with an effort on goal, but uh, just ran out of play. Ronnie Moore electing to start with Ryan Taylor again. Taylor on loan with Exeter. Played in the final regular league match of the season for the Grecians and has started both semi-finals and now the final for the Millers. really had a goal-scoring opportunity of notes so far for either team. Roberts thought about coming for that and said it was put behind by Arba under some pressure from Taylor. Yeah, the cross just took a deflection, which, which just made it difficult for Tony Roberts because he was coming for the cross and then he, knew, he knows he's got to stay where he is. Unfortunately, Mark Arba deals with it and puts it out. First corner then of this final. Driven in. Oh, a bad header. Mills turns it on and just wide from Pablo Mills. Yeah, so I see it's something that they've rehearsed in training. It's a corner, this, this drill to the far post. They win the first one, and Pablo Mills just instinctively puts it towards the far post and it just agonizingly wide. If that's on target, that's a goal. Sure that the world want to just bring the, the tempo of the game down and get their passing game going, not allow Dagenham to dictate take the pace. They want to play at a high pace, but when Rodham get it down and pass it, they certainly look uh, a lot more threatening. Ellison three in the middle if he can find any of them. Taylor just wide from Ryan Taylor. What an excellent glancing header. Well, they allow Ellison to cross it, they don't get close enough, they stand off him, so he puts his head up, puts a great cross in, and Ryan Taylor does everything right. All he can do is redirect it towards that far post, and the spin of the ball takes it outside the post. Lafondra looking to attack Damien McCrory, and Lafondra's created a little bit of room for himself again, cleared away by Arbor. Great by, play by Lafonge, but again, the Dagenham, Dagenham let him turn. They let him turn, he'll, he'll take advantage. Just get past McCoy like he wasn't there. Unfortunately, he didn't miss the first round with his cross. Lynch with the ball in, Taylor! Roberts with the save. Well, that's two he's got on the end of. This time, he gets across the face of Scott Dodd. Starts behind him, right across the face of him. Good header. Not quite good enough to beat the keeper. 
No problem here. Referee James at Linnington coming across to have a word. After yes. this challenge, here's the header again. Fenton with the free kick. Law. The Pondra waiting for the ball into the middle. Instead, it's to Taylor. And it's another corner to Rotherham, who were enjoying a very good spell. Yeah, well, after that initial 10 minutes from Dagenham, it's, it's been all Rotherham. And again, this is better defending from Scott, though. He's tight to the man, doesn't let him get across him. Just manages to get his head on that cross first. Dagenham and Redbridge have brought everybody back in or around their own penalty area. Curled in towards Roberts. Cleared away by Nurse. But the ball will be returned by Lynch. In towards Fenton. Sharps is there as well. He does the best that he can, really. They're winning a throw in for his team. Might just have hit the post here, Leroy. Not immediately apparent from our angle. It did, you know. Oh, we couldn't see from our side. You see, just got this typical forward. He should head it. But he ducks underneath it at the last minute. Don't know if he gets a call from Tony Roberts, but he should take that decision away from the keeper. It's been a, a very even match so far. Dagenham starting it well. Rotherham coming back into it. Scott. Game. First time from a go go. Spectacular shot and pushed away by Warrington. Vincelot denied what would have been a spectacular Wembley goal. I tell you what, that was a fantastic effort by Vincelot. Early cross from a go go. And you can see him shaping in around the penalty spot. He hits it perfectly. And Andy Warrington, as you say, terrific play from both sides. Here's a cross. Terrific overhead kick by Vincelot. Great one-handed save. And I tell you what, Ian Sharps did ever so well just to clear his lines of me out there. What a goal that would have been. Ellison's underneath it. Taylor Pink. Ellison is there, though. And that's an intelligent header to Lafondra, although Ellison's picked it up himself. Lafondra was on the overlap. Terrific defending from Scott Doe. Scott with the header. Here's John Nurse. Will it sit up nicely for Nurse? He's fouled. Challenged by Sharps. And Dagenham get a free kick in an excellent position. Yeah, right on the edge of the D. John Nurse again coming in off that right-hand side. Drives in. And Ian Sharps has no... Just needs a leg there for him to go over. He knows it's... He can't really let him go through there. First yellow card of this League Two playoff final. And it's Ian Sharps, the Rotherham captain, who is cautioned. McCrory is certainly shaping to shoot. Scott wanders away. It's Danny Green! Away by Warrington! Another fantastic save from the Rotherham goalkeeper. Yes, it's a, it is a good save. He's, uh, he's allowed him that space down the side of the wall, and, and Danny Green's taken it. It's a terrific strike, but he's still got to make the save. It's a clean strike, right through the wall, squares a little bit, and it's an excellent strong arm from the keeper. On by Ellison. Just signs that this final is beginning to warm up very nicely indeed. Lafondra, Taylor, he's got a go-go for company, and it's off the Dagenham and Redbridge fullback for a Rotherham corner. Well, neither side's holding back, they're both going for it. They're trying to get foot into their front men and get runners in. This time Ryan Taylor's cross is blocked, but Rotherham has certainly looked dangerous from set pieces, and uh, again, that and Redbridge bring everybody back because they're concerned. Corner from Laws. And as far as Harrison, Roberts punches it clear and was fouled. Might well be a, another yellow card shown by the referee, Adam Lafondra, with the challenge on Tony Roberts. And you can see there that Mark Arbour, the Dagenham captain, is just asking the referee not to book him. I don't think it's going to have any effect, though. 
Well, the fun just has gone. He's uh, instinctively, he's just watching the ball. But there's certainly no intent there. And uh, Mr. Lillington sees it differently, but uh, I think it's unfortunate to pick that one up. Tony Roberts, after the semi final victory at uh, Morecambe in the second leg 10 days ago, was bouncing around the dressing room area. It was like uh, Tigger on speed. Absolutely loving the fact that he was going to be playing at Wembley at the age of 40. He'll be 41 in August, Tony Roberts. Green. Yeah, double up on him this time. Kevin Ellison comes back to help him. He earns a throw. He's going back into that box. Scott is the obvious target. Again, it's too long for the first Dagenham player. Just hit high by a go go. Scott managed to get there. Last man back was Doe. That's a handball by Law. Yeah, couldn't read the bounce, just bounced up awkwardly. Gets him high up on the left arm. Game finds McCrory on the overlap. Driven in. This is Benson able to turn. And Paul Benson has put Dagenham and Redbridge in front. The Daggers' leading scorer makes it 22 for the season. And the side from Essex bidding to reach League One for the first time in their history, have the first goal in this playoff final. It all comes from the free kick. They get, the free kick, get it down and play quickly. That's what they like to do. Get it wide. And it's McCrory just on the overlap here. Early ball in. It doesn't look a great cross, but it's behind the modern defence. One touch and turn by Paul Benson and just steers it into the far corner. A lovely finish. And Dagman are ahead. Paul Benson scored in both semi-finals and he has scored on the biggest stage of all at Wembley. He can't believe it, that Dagenham supporter in the middle, he really can't believe it. It's an equaliser! Taylor! Rotherham back on level terms almost instantly and Ryan Taylor has broken his goal-scoring drought with one of the most important goals that he has ever scored. Rotherham back on level terms instantly there's a throw and it's Kevin Ellison they don't pick him up he just loops it in the near post there he's all on his own mind Taylor Tony Roberts absolutely no chance we've still got a lot to do and it's an excellent header and this game has come alight fantastic response from Rotherham there is all to play for in the second half at Wembley Green shots down. Now, is this going to be a booking? I don't think the referee's got any choice. Poor defender by having gunning in the first place. He just pulls him down, he goes past him, he doesn't even make any attempt to go for the ball. Is the punishment still to come, though? Green with this free kick. Half a dozen in Dagenham Yellow inside the penalty area. Right across, and Nurse with the chance, which goes into about row H. And Nurse just uh, tries to hit it too hard back across. Just needs to steer it back into the danger area. Inside his own house, inside his own half now for Green. They're just gaining yards, aren't they? Green this time in towards Benson. Not the best of clearances. Appeals for handball from the Dagenham supporters behind that goal. Not an appeal at all from any player. In by McCrory. Picked up here by Green. Faced by Gunning. And Green! Brilliant goal! Absolutely brilliant goal from Danny Green! There's a cross, he's cleared. 
It goes to him. He's there, there's no danger there, but he doesn't close him down enough. Too far off him. Just hits it across the keeper. Lovely finish. And from this angle, it looks even better. Lynch on the overlap. Lovely ball into the middle and off the bar. Taylor couldn't get there. Lafondra couldn't get there. Lovely overlap by Mark Lynch. Great ball. Terrible place for defenders. I think it's Danny Harrison, is it, on the far post. He hits his knee into the ground off the crossbar. Doe sliding in, forward by Nurse. Mills. Lynch hits it forward, a bit of space here for Law. Three in the middle, Law pulls it back, it's Ryan Taylor, it's 2-2! And for the second time in this final, Rotherham have responded oh so quickly to going behind. And on both occasions, it's Ryan Taylor who has scored. There's the run, acres of space, he doesn't take the touch, that's what I'm impressed with. First time, Taylor, one touch, and he hits it. Told you he's full of confidence, great finish. An amazing playoff final at Wembley. Rotherham, twice behind, have twice levelled. They're not out of it yet. Far from it. Ellison. The go go just able to win it for Dagenham, but it's now two against two. Taylor finds Lafondra. Taylor's screaming for the return ball. Ryan Taylor shoots at fresh air. And Dagenham repel the danger. And there was real danger there. There was, but his touch just let him down. Just got away, away from him. And it allows Scott Doe just to get in that last stitch tackle. There it is. Lafondra comes inside. Good pass, but Stutz just gets away from him. And the chance goes. Can't keep your eyes off this one. Sharps. The problem for Abu Agogo. I think there's a bit of a, a blood there. And there's going to have to be a, a change of shirt for the Dagenham right back. Green has just dropped into the defensive role for the time being. Yes, uh, defended well, the go go. And the shorts as well are coming off. So, uh, well, blood must have been everywhere then. Absolutely. Taking up, understandably, just delaying this free kick and allowing a go go to come back on. Green with it, nicely floated as well. Caught by McCrory, Rotherham had stayed deep, Nurse. Good strong run from Vincelot and nobody could challenge him as well. Game, awkward cross and just cleared away from underneath his own crossbar. That's a terrific ball by Peter again he just helps it into the danger area and that's the only place he can head it. And he does it very well, Nicky Fenton. Approaching the midway point in the second half. Green with the corner kick, a deep one. Benson, turned towards goal. And again, Warrington is there to make the save from the Magadan captain. Yeah, Benson just pulls off the far post. Doesn't hit his volley, but gets it back in the danger area. Arbor hits it, hits it instinctively. He doesn't get enough pace on it. Yeah, there's been a thorn in the side of... Gavin going all through the game, this time Gavin tried to get tight, so he knocks it past him. And he managed to defend Josh fairly Scott's well this just uh, stretching a few muscles there. Maybe Cramp beginning to just tell. Green's corner. 
Nurse, it's gone in! Everything seemed to stop for just a moment or so then. But John Nurse was able to watch his ball trickle over the goal line and Dagenham are back in front for a third time. Terrible defending. The ball comes a long way, goes through plenty of bodies. I'm sure if it takes a deflection off Kevin Ellison, yeah, that's why. He doesn't hit it very well, John Nurse. Totally miskicks it. It's Kevin Ellison who just deflects it under Andy Warrington. It's a horrible goal to concede. Oh, dearie, mate. He'll take that. To me, to you, 2-1, two, 2-2, two, two, now 3-2. They're not chuckling now, the Chuckle Brothers. Ellison making a run through the middle. Lafondra's going to have to do it all himself. Strong and powerful from a go-go. Excellent defending. He's kept his eye on the ball. He's not, not dived in. He's used his body well. Benson. Taking on Fenton. Benson! It's another corner. we St. Ars don't like to defend. Taking a deflection off Ian Sharks. This time, doesn't end up in the back of the net. Taylor. Challenge from Doe. Gunning. Ellison has got in behind a go go. Hangs it up for Lafondra. Marshall with the header. Roberts always confident it was going wide. Ellison, good running behind the full pullback of go go. Pulls it back, but not a lot of pace on it, so he's got to generate his own pace. And Tony Roberts just, what does it harm? He drift past the post. Firm header forward from Arba. Broken down nicely. Green. I wonder if they'll use a long throw now, whether they'll be looking to maybe get it short and keep possession. It does look as though Green is going to hurl it in. Indeed he does. Towards Benson, Warrington with the punch. And Warrington, confusion there! Could have been the winner. Warrington doesn't get a lot on the first one decides to go for the second one just punches his own player and Paul Benson he knows where the goal is but doesn't quite get the technique right had to go for it is it going to be defeat for Rotherham last anxious moments for the South Yorkshire side they need a goal and they need it quickly hit long by Fenton and just chested back to his goalkeeper by Mark Arbour. Coolness personified. He's always been very calm, Mark Arbour. Taylor. Marshall. Bell Baggy. The draw is all over him. Bell Baggy can't keep possession. Lynch is screaming for it on this near side. Oh, the referee's awarded a free kick. Should have been an advantage there, surely. Should have been. And Vincent has got away with the book and could have been sent off. Law. Just away. Desperate diving moments. Rotherham can't get there. Dagenham clear it. It's all hands to the pump now. It's just been played inside. There's only, what, three or four players outside the box. That includes Andy Warrington. Just over 30 seconds of the four minutes of additional time to be played. Cleared away by Walsh. Back in again. McCrory's header. Turned back in by Lafondra. Roberts with the firm punch. Away by Walsh. That's a great punch. The people are down in the six-yard box. One last chance. Roberts punches it again. Sharps with the header. Gets a deflection and Roberts just watches it go by, but it is a corner kick. It's like a war zone in the box, there's people down, they're injured, they're hobbling. Last few seconds, Warrington is forward as well. Rotherham have to score, but they're not going to. They head a wide from Fenton and Dagenham and Redbridge 
are in League One for the first time in their history. John Still, the Dagenham fan who played for the club and now manages the club, three years after bringing them into the Football League, has taken them up another level. Dagenham and Redbridge are in League One next season. They'll be playing Sheffield Wednesday, Shelton Athletic and Southampton, among others. What a story for the team from Essex, who three times have led this Wembley final. Twice they were pegged back quickly, but the winner proved to be the goal from Nurse, which may very well go down as an own goal from Ellison. Dagenham and Redbridge, the team who finished seventh, have gone up via the playoffs.